Geeks. I hope you guys are doing great today. I'm going to give you my five favorite primers, face primers, because I've had so many of you guys asking which ones are the best, which one should I get, and honestly, I have tried every single face primer out there over the last couple years or so, and I've narrowed it down to the ones that I think are the absolute best, and then I'll have on the Makeup Geek site for you guys the prices and also what specific skin type is best for each primer, but I will give you my top five right now, no particular order. So let's start with um, the Palladio one. I chose this one because I wanted to put an inexpensive one on there that works really well. This one is, hold on, let me look at the price, $12, and it's for 0.674 fluid ounce. I like this one a lot for dry skin just because it is very silky and it glides very well. If you have oily skin, I don't think this will work quite as well because it'll slide too much. I use this one a lot under my eyes when my concealer gets a little heavy just so it doesn't cake up. Um, but it works really well, it's inexpensive, it just gives you a nice smooth finish to the skin. So if you're trying to save some money and you want something that glides, this is a great alternative. And this works really similar to the um, Monistat Chafing Gel that I told you guys about a long time ago. But for some reason a lot of stores don't sell that anymore. So try this one if you can't find it. The next one is one that I've been using for years now for pores. Because I have pores right here on my cheeks, it's really annoying. And this is the best product I've found for filling them in without breaking me out and it's the Clinique Pore Minimizer Instant Perfector. The price of this is $18, and it's for half an ounce. <clears throat> so it's not that much, but it will last you a long time. I like this one a lot because it has a nice little squeeze tube, and it has just a little bit of color to it. It leaves a very satiny finish, and it just fills in the pores really, really well. This is best for combination to oily skin. It can be a little bit dry if you have dry skin, just because it doesn't have a very silky finish, it's more like a satin finish. Um, it doesn't glide quite as well as the herbal, the Palladio one. But anyways, it's great for filling in the pores. So if you have problems with pores, get this one. Okay, next one is for oily skin, and this is a mattifier. This is by MAC, and I've used this for a long time also. It's the MAC Matte Gel, and this one is $19, and it's .84 ounce. It's a clear one like this, and it comes in a squeeze tube. <clears throat> and I like this one a lot because it has that silky kind of feeling to it, so it glides really, really well. But once it dries, it dries to a very matte finish. So if you have combination to oily skin, this will just kind of keep that oil at bay a little bit, but yet it still feels really smooth. It's not really drying at all. So that one's great for more oily skin. And then the next two <laughs> are very similar but I do have a favorite one. I'm going to start with the Benefit Porefessional Primer. This one's a bit more pricey. It's $29 for 0.75 fluid ounce. I still chose this one a lot because it's great for just in general priming. So if you have dry combination oily skin, it'll work because it dries to a satin finish. So it's not a matte finish. It's not overly slick. It's just a nice happy medium. It has a little bit of color to it like this. And when you apply it, it's very, very smooth, and it just really gives your skin a very nice finish. The only thing I don't like about this is it has a smell. It kind of smells like flowers. Benefit puts a specific scent in all of their products. So if you have sensitive skin or are sensitive to scents, this may not be the one for you just because it does have kind of a strong odor to it, in my opinion. But the next one that acts exactly the same as this and is a little bit less expensive is the Too Faced Prime and Poreless. This one is $30, but you get a full ounce with this. So here's the size of the Benefit. Here's the Too Faced one. I choose this one as my all-time favorite go-to primer. So if you just need something to prime your skin, you're not overly oily, you're not overly dry, this is a great one to use. It has a little bit of color also, and it's you know light tan color. When you put it on, it's the same thing as the Benefit one. It's really smooth, it's not drying, it's not oily. It's just a nice happy medium. It works really well. So this is the one I use a lot on my skin just to give me a nice smooth finish to prep your face for your foundation. So I hope that helps you guys out. Go to MakeupGeek.com. I have prices, pictures, all that great stuff. So check that out and hopefully that helps you in your shopping for your face primer. So be happy and help you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye. My eye is twitching. Did you see it? <laughs> I had a lot of you guys asking about face primers and you're kind of confused on which ones are the best to get and honestly I have tried... <laughs> that was not a fart! Is this even recording? Okay.
was not a fart. Don't mind me blushing. <laughs> Just kidding.